So you see he's pretty close off this right hand side of the track. So Rachel's just going to go off to one side and try and get the far side of him. And then once she's in place, um, we'll try and do as we did yesterday and do that little pincer movement and with the cockapo in the middle of the three of us. And that gives us the best chance of locating him. I've just seen ripples in the water here, so I think he's in the water. This is Buster, who went for a little paddle across a little puddle to try and get away from us, but eventually we got him with his head. I know. Hello, little man. It's amazing to work with a species where each individual in the entire population has a name, a genealogy, and I get to work with a large number of them. And so not only do I get to see a bird now, but some of these birds, this is the third or fourth time that I've seen them over the last four years, and I can see how maybe their health problems have got better or how they've grown. And on a personal note, that brings a lot of joy to my job. You know, this is kind of why I got into zoo work in the first place. Morning. We're here on day three and we're off to try and find Sinbad and he's down for a routine health check. He has had cloacitis before so we'll see how it goes. Sledging. Yeah, it's good. It's pretty steep around here. I'm really really soft substrate and lots of petrol burrows so it really means your feet can sink and it's pretty steep so we have to have to take our time Jake's got quite a close signal so maybe 20 or 30 meters that way we're hoping he's still on this side of the gully 20 or 30 meters there's always a faint possibility that 20 or 30 meters is straight across there at the other edge but hopefully not so we continue so we've just come down into the gully into the stream bed and we've now got to climb up the other side he's not so far away in in terms of horizontal meters, but quite a lot of effort in vertical. So another research project that we at Auckland Zoo are helping the Kakapo Recovery Group with is a vitamin D and ionised calcium project. So we've measured vitamin D and compared to other birds, they have very low levels. And what we don't know is whether that's normal for the species or not. If you don't have enough vitamin D, you can get rickets. So you can get um, bendy bones, bone fractures, um, and birds can also have problems laying eggs. Interestingly, the main food that they feed their chicks in the breeding season is called rimu, and the, the fruit from the rimu tree seems very, very high in vitamin D. So it's important we understand what normal is, and crucially, as we feed these birds um, some supplementary food in the breeding seasons, it's really important we understand what their requirements are so we can make sure the supplementary food is as balanced as it needs to be.
One of the reasons I love working with Kokpo is because they seem uh, really intelligent and they're very forgiving. So even after we do the health checks, the majority of them will stay around, they'll take food afterwards. Hung around now for about 30 minutes after the health check and he's still eating and grubbing around with us. So uh, I think he's forgiven us already. The programme began in, in the 1990 and you know, we have tripled the population, but it's very slow. They only breed every two or three years, and so we make the most of those opportunities. The plan for the future is to keep growing the population. We'd like to have three sites, each with at least 50 breeding aged females, um, and a couple of those sites being self-sufficient. And of course the long-term goal is to restore Kākāpō back to New Zealand, back to the mainland, and you know, to have them in the hills around our towns and our cities, and to hear that booming again. Um, would be fantastic. The ultimate goal for DOC is to have a thousand cockapo, self-sustaining populations that don't need this intensive effort, but whilst we're down with numbers so low, we need to wrap them all up in cotton wool and, and protect them and care for them as much as we can.